Welcome to Bogey Lanes in East Brookfield, Massachusetts for a Western New England Candle Pin Association Pro Tour match between Tom Bishop and Phil Clough. Uh, Tom is the number five seed and Phil is the number four seed in, in this tournament. They both qualified with 623 in the, um, the five string qualifying round and they were actually tied with Alan Cotting at 623. There was a three-way tie and then Phil and Tom and Alan all bowled a string playoff uh, with Phil and Tom being the top two qualifiers so they move on to this match. The winner of which will take on Dave Dupuy who was the number three seed. And then uh, the number two seed is Richie Myrick and the top seed is Ed Tringali. Phil Clough with a six drop. And he makes a nice bid on that 3, 6, 7, 10 with a piece of wood. And Tom Bishop dropped five with his first ball. And he also made a good try at this bear, but he's, uh, he's still got three pins left standing. Tom Bishop bowls out of candle lanes in Pittsfield. Phil Clough bowls out of, uh, I think, Colonial Lanes in Worcester, and he also uh, frequently shows up at the Mason's King of the Hill tournament in Lemonster. Phil with a nine box and Tom Bishop with ten. Phil drops nine. Uh, interesting way to drop nine. He hit the sort of a medium one-two pocket hit, and the ball was deflected around the four pin. He's le he left just the four. And look at that, he had two pieces of wood in front of the four, but they, uh, they kind of worked against each other, and he was not able to get the four. He, he, uh, he does make it for a 10, so he's got 19 through two, and Tom Bishop is trying to uh, make it 10, he's, he's got it for 20. Let's take another look at this second ball where Phil Clough tries to get this four pin, and you can see that he goes to the left, just about at the red line on that left flank, and it knocks the second wood to the right, and at the same time gets it gets deflected around the uh, to the left of the four pin, so he does not get that spare. Really tough break for Phil. But he bounces right back with an eight drop in the third box leaving the 610 with a nice piece of wood in front of it. Tom Bishop with a four drop. And Phil converts the spare. And there's a great shot by Tom Bishop for the spare. Now let's look at, let's really slow this one down. I, I had to look at this one several times. I think what happens is that the two pin bounces off the 8 and then goes over to get the 10. I'm not 100% sure about it because it's very hard to see exactly what happens there, but I think the 2-pin goes back and hits the 8 and then bounces all the way over to get the 10. So it's a spare for Tom Bishop in the third box, matching that by Phil Clough. Phil has uh, 29 plus a ball through 3. And he adds seven, so he's got 36 through the third. Tom Bishop with 30 with the ball working. And Tom adds eight, giving him a two pin lead, 38 to 36. Phil Clough with the spare, he converts the 3 6 10. Tom Bishop has got the 6 10. And he doesn't get it, he hits the six pin, but chops it right off the 10, so he will have an open box in the 4th. And it'll be a 9 for Tom Bishop. So Phil Clough has a opportunity to take the lead here. And he does, he puts 8 on the spare, that gives him a 7 pin lead, 54 to 47 through 4, but he's got a 5-7 split with no wood, so that's going to be very difficult. Phil, as you probably know, is uh, 
a guy that's been on the candle pin circuit for many many years he had a lot of appearances on the channel 5 show and also on the channel 27 show if i'm not mistaken and he's been on the tournament circuit for a long time and he's a regular on the senior candle pin tour so he's definitely proven his uh, merits as a competitor over the years we had 10 box for phil and an eight for tom bishop and you can see the scoreboard phil clough leads 64 to 55 through 5 as they switch lanes and Tom Bishop comes over to lane 6 with Bill Clough going over to lane 5. Tom with a... Well, I'm not sure if that's a 4 or a 5 drop. It's, it's sort of the opposite of the uh, the spare that he made a couple of boxes ago in the third. Well, it was a four drop, as you can see. He plucked out the three pin, and that nine is in behind it. And Phil Clough with a great shot for the spare. Let's let's uh, have another look at this. Three, six, seven, eight, ten, and he goes pretty high on this piece of wood in front of the three six, and the wood spins and takes out the six, and then goes back into the 8 and tips it over into the 7. So that's a spare in the 6 for Phil Clough. That gives him 74 plus the fill. Tom Bishop with a 7, that gives him 62. So Phil is leading by 12 plus the fill ball. Tom Bishop needs to... And he's got a good ball there, 9 drop, leaving the 9 pin couple of pieces of wood that are quite far out front. Could be tricky. Bill Clough builds his spare with six. So he's got 80 through six and an 18 pin lead. And Tom Bishop gets robbed by that wood. He had to go, really had to go a little bit higher than he did. And it just deflected the ball to the right and the wood went to the left of the nine pin. Got it for a 10 box. Bill Clough will take an 8. That trims two pins off Bill's lead, but he's still up by 16. 88 to 72 through 7. Tom Bishop delivers and he drops 8. Misses the head pin, but gets a nice break there and leaves the 1-3. I'm not sure. It could be a 1-3-9. I'm not sure if the 9-pin is standing. And Phil Clough with a nice ball, but no breaks at all. He got, he's got a 4-6 split with no wood. <clears throat> and Tom Bishop converts that spare. It actually was a 1-3-9. That's a spare in the 8th. So that will give him a chance to reduce the lead held by Phil Clough. Phil takes a 10 for 98 and Tom has got 82 with the ball again he misses the head pin but uh, pretty good break once again he leaves the 1-3 Phil Clough also has that orange pin in the head pin spot they're not uh, giving anything away for that though probably doing leaves and Tom with the spare clutch conversion there and let's see what Phil can do with this five drop and he's got it Phil matching the spare by Tom and let's take a second look as uh, Phil hits this wood pushes it back to take that three five six nine and ten really nice coverage on that spare he uh, just pushes the wood back through all five pins so it's still an eight pin lead for Phil Clough both guys working on spares. Tom Bishop misses the head pin again on the left side for the third straight time and he drops five giving him 105 through nine. Bill Clough also with five so it's still an eight pin lead and what that means is that Tom Bishop has got to convert this spare otherwise Bill Clough will be the winner. Wow Tom with a nice try 
got everything but the three pin and he hit he had to hit the head pin pretty full and he did but he just caught a little bit too much of it and didn't get the three so it's a 10 box for Tom Bishop and a 115 game Phil Clough will finish with nine for a 122 so you will see the scores Tom Bishop with 115 and Phil Clough with 122 so Phil wins this match over Tom Bishop and will move on to face Dave Dupuy in the next match. Meanwhile, Tom Bishop will pick up a check for fifth place.